how to change the display size of joints in Maya. So why would you want to change the display size? Because I could click here to go to preferences or I could go to windows settings, preferences, go to preferences there, but here's a shortcut. I go there. This takes you to automatically to the time slider, but I could just go to settings and go to any other place. You have different working units and depending on what you're working on, if it's in meters, centimeters, you get really different big, different sizes in the scene. So your joints might not match up. So for example, if I create, you could create a skeleton uh, under rigging mode, go to skeleton, go to create joint. I can create in the center or hold X and press click here to create in the center there. Or I could delete if you want to do a joint really quickly while the mel or Py well, there's Python that if you click on that, if I use just mel, the command is just joint and you click on that, you'll create a joint in the center of the world automatically. So the thing is, this is by default the joint size. What if you're creating a character? Let's say I created a box. I could hold shift, middle, uh, right mouse button click and choose, let's say, cube. Let's say the cube size for what you're modeling is, let's say, like 0.2 like this, right? And you want a joint to be inside here. So the thing is, the joint is way bigger than the cube and that's not might might not be what you want but so what you could do you could change the display so if you go to display go to animation go to joint size you'll get this joint display by default this says one it's kind of like a multiplier you could shrink it and try to make it inside the box it doesn't actually change anything except visually in the viewport and it doesn't render out because joints don't render out or skeletons or bones don't render out and if it's hidden in here, if you want to see it, you go into x-ray mode and click that button over there to see the join inside. Now, the thing is, this is an overall multiplier. I could go to reset, put it back to what originally at one. Sometimes you might have characters that are bigger and maybe smaller details. Let's see fingers, you want it smaller. So you don't want the whole thing to be updated. What I mean by that is if I just um, say create a new scene, go to the front view. I'll go to rigging, go to skeleton, go to create joints. And if I click a bunch of joints to make a skeleton, if I do the joint display again, the joint display, go to reset, close that, you go to display, animation, joint size, and you have the joint display scale here. Again, it's visual. It will overall change all of them. So you can make them thin or bigger. But what if most of, if I go to reset, let's say most of them is good, but only just maybe these I want to actually make smaller. So what you can do is select them and there's an attribute on the joint itself called radius. You can select that and actually make it smaller. Uh, so it looks like there you have, you can't multi-select. So you can make those individually smaller. So the way it works, it looks like is that that is the multiplier of the visual display and then there's the one that's on the actual attribute itself of a joint that's individual display and in under display animation joint size this is a global one for all the joints in the scene of multiplier so you see when i do that all of them multiply whatever their current radius is this looks like it's multiplying it so i'll just undo well, actually, it doesn't look like you can undo this version, the joint display scale from the display animation joint size that you can't undo. But you can undo these values because it actually changes the viewport. Well, the viewport, the graph, the scene graph, I mean. So let's say I call this point two or even smaller. And yeah, that's how you reset this. This is how you could go in and change the display size of the joints in the viewport, at least, because joints do not render out at all. I just reset it to go back to what they were. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.